This is the Bonington Experience. This is the brand new Rigby Highland Stalker. I've just got it in and just came from the range with it. Hey, it shoots really well. It came into zero very, very quickly. You know, this is a, a really famous rifle and a brand new platform that's as old as smokeless powder. Just a couple of years ago, John Rigby brought back the big game rifle in 416 Rigby, which is certainly one of their famous cartridges, but they wanted a, a smaller rifle that was for deer hunting and mountain hunting, and it's called the Highland Stalker because stalking stags in the Scottish Highlands is really one of the, the signature sports in the British Isles, and, and really, in many ways, the, the birthplace of, of deer stalking. That's the way they do it there, and so that's what this rifle is all about. It's also a wonderful piece of history. The Highland Stalker brings back the 275 Rigby cartridge, truly one of the most famous cartridges in the entire world of hunting. Clear back in 1892, Mauser brought out the 7x57 Mauser, and it was very popular initially, and you know, the, the British faced the 7x57 Mauser in the hands of the Boers in the Second Boer War, and hey, we faced the 7x57 Mauser on San Juan Hill and in the rest of Cuba and in the Philippines, and hey, Americans and British got a very healthy respect for this wonderful cartridge. Now, after the turn of the century, John Rigby had an exclusive arrangement with the German firm of Mauser. And just to make it a little bit easier for the, for the British folks, they renamed the cartridge 275 Rigby. And at that time, they brought out a, a fast 140 grain load at 2,800 feet per second. Very, very fast for its day. So the 7x57 Mauser or 275 Rigby was available with bullet weights from 140 grains all the way up to the 173 grain round nose in both soft and solid. And this was the type of rifle that Walter Dalrymple Maitland Karamoja Bell used. And in fact, Bell used it a lot. Bell actually bought six 275 Rigby's from Rigby and several of them were bought after he left Africa forever. So he had an estate in Scotland that he purchased with his ivory money. So Walter Bell used a rifle very much like this for stalking red stags in Scotland. And another famous user was Jim Corbett. Of course, Jim Corbett was famous for ridding India of some of the most notorious man-eating tigers and, and leopards. And he was actually presented a 275 Rigby after killing a, a notorious tiger in the early years of the century. And he used it for the rest of his life. After he retired, he left Indy and went to Kenya and his 275 Rigby went with him. But you know, it's just as famous a hunting cartridge over here. Not widely known, but Jack O'Connor, who's famous for championing the 270, was also a big fan of the 7x57 and he used it all his life. He hunted desert sheep in Mexico just about every year from 1934 to 1946. He would never say exactly how many desert sheep he took, but it is known that he took almost all of them with a 7x57. His wife Eleanor used a 7x57 as well, and you know, if you fast forward a little bit, hey, it's one of my favorite cartridges too. I've used it all over the world on all the continents. I love the cartridge. I have rifles that are roll marked, both 275 Rigby and 7x57. The two are interchangeable. Same cartridge by another name, but I've used it in New Zealand. I've used it in Africa. I've, I've used it in Europe. And I tell you what, I use it a lot right here at my place in Kansas. And that's the kind of place where a lovely rifle like this is going to be perfectly as at home. I think the 275 Rigby is one of the very finest of all whitetail cartridges. The Highland Stalker is about 7.8 pounds. It comes standard with, with grade five wood. It's beautifully hand checkered, hand finished. Just absolutely lovely woodwork. Just as it was back in 1908, the barreled action comes straight from Mauser. And all the stock work and the finishing and the fitting is done in England, just the way it was done in, in the old days at Rigby before World War I. It's a good old Mauser controlled round feed action has absolutely fantastic open sights. This particular rifle is fitted with the Mauser Hexalog detachable mount. So the scope comes on and off very easily if you prefer to use the iron sights at any time. I've put a 1.75 to 6X loophole on it, which for me in my whitetail country is plenty of scope, but the rifle has capability for 
quite a bit of range. 275 Rigby is a very, very capable cartridge, quite similar to the 270 Winchester in performance, which, hey, that's saying a lot. It's really a, a fine cartridge, but you know, the Highland Stalker is not just 275 Rigby. It's also available in 308, 30 out 6, 8 by 57 Mauser, and 93 by 62 Mauser. So if you prefer a cartridge that's a little more powerful than the 275, you can certainly have that. And if you want to go to the great old 9.3 by 62 Mauser, then you've got a beautiful stalking rifle that's really capable and in most African countries absolutely legal to use on buffalo. So that's the Highland Stalker. It's the modern version of the classic English stalking rifle, the return of a fine old classic and just a beautiful rifle in all ways. Using classic rifles like this that were owned by people like Walter Bell and, and Jim Corbett, this rifle was three years in development in partnership with Mauser and hey, this is the result, the Highland Stalker. A great gun for just about all seasons and just about all reasons. I think they've done a fantastic job with it and this is a rifle that's gonna make you feel good carrying it and you're gonna do well with it because it's gonna perform in the field. This is a great return of an old classic with modern components, a fantastic hunting rifle.